Today we are going to talk about uh, rural sanitation in developing countries. Well, uh, we want to know why, why do we need to have sanitation? Um, so we all understand the, uh, the objectives. Uh, then we look into the designs. Uh, what kind of designs do we have? How is the link between sanitation and hygiene? Uh, why doesn't it not work just to build latrines? Why do you need to combine it with uh, hygiene uh, education? And then we have something about sustainable sanitation. And we have this about uh, IEC tools. It's information, education and communication. It's a, a special toolbox uh, for how to communicate with uh, uh, stakeholders. And then we have a, a short presentation of uh, latrine building materials, so you can have some uh, idea about the prices. So, why sanitation? Uh, it's not only a place where you uh, defecate or shit, you also have uh, the concern about privacy. Uh, most of us, we would like to have a, a, a toilet door that we can lock for privacy. Uh, convenience, uh, it should be nice uh, uh, for us, a uh, seat, uh, heat. Um, in uh, developing uh, countries, uh, security is also an issue. If you go out at night, uh, you don't have a toilet, you need to go a little bit far from the house. Uh, you might risk uh, of getting attacked. Uh, also, status. Uh, if you can show you have a bigger toilet than the neighbor. It's like here in Denmark, we have a bigger car or bigger television. Um, then again, we have the habits. What are people actually used to? Uh, if nobody in the whole village are used to latrines, then it's a little bit difficult to introduce. Um, you will improve the hygiene if you actually know how to uh, build uh, good quality latrines and it will improve the health. And there are probably a number of other reasons, but no more space. This is uh, my version of compiling uh, from the different uh, F diagrams, uh, all the benefits. Um, you can find something uh, very similar on the internet uh, but I've put in an extra line here uh, to show that uh, VAP, Ecosan, Poor Flush are uh, limiting these uh, free and the simple pit latrines are, are limiting these two. Um, and then, uh, well, the colors are not uh, good, but there should be some color over here uh, talking about improved water quality. That's where you uh, make barriers for the uh, fecal oral uh, transmission routes. Up in the top, you have uh, improved hygiene, uh, going down to food hygiene. And then over here, uh, with these barriers, you have the uh, improved sanitation that will create barriers from uh, these uh, fecal oral uh, transmission routes. In some of the uh, F diagrams you see, uh, you have an extra uh, line directly from uh, feces to food. And uh, I always say it's not original, it should not be there. Uh, because uh, my interpretation is that you shit on your food. Uh, but yesterday I discovered that it's if you use uh, water, uh, dirty water, for irrigating your crops. So if you use river water, for example, and somebody else is shitting upstream, then you have polluted water and you put it on your crops. That's effectively the same thing as somebody else is shitting on your crops. So if you have a, a F diagram with five, it's okay. Uh, I'll upload some uh, more detailed explanation about how to understand the F diagram. Um, now, we have a small test here. What percentage of the 1.5 million uh, children, uh, child, annual, annual child death is caused by diarrhea are preventable? If, if you actually uh, do the proper interventions, 
then you have 90% of the children dying from diarrhea now who do not need to die. That's very nice. So we have to learn how to do the right thing. Um, why do we focus on diarrhea prevention? Uh, well, uh, it's a major burden uh, for the families, the health system. Uh, uh, you have to take care of the sick children, uh, or if the children die, it's also a, a burden for the family. Um, it uh, has a adverse effect on, on the small children under five. Uh, uh, they don't grow so much, uh, they're not so uh, active in school later, uh, they don't learn so much, so they'll be behind in uh, development. Uh, we have the table here uh, looking at the weight development uh, according to age, and it's also uh, slower. Um, so it will have a negative impact on household economy, uh, education, and the time spent. Now, another <laughs> pop quiz. <laughs> How many people in the world lack access to hygiene, hygienic sanitation facilities? Uh, 2.6 billion people don't have access to, to uh, hygienic sanitation facilities. You have uh, slightly more than a third of the population in the world uh, who don't have a proper place uh, to shit. Uh, and that's a lot of shit every day, getting in the wrong place. And especially because China and India are the biggest countries in the world, exactly. they count for most. <laughs> um, now, a definition of sanitation depends uh, on culture, it depends on uh, your language, the language you speak. Uh, in, in our case here, uh, we'll be defining as uh, management of uh, humus, human excreta. Excreta is feces and, and urine. Uh, in other uh, contexts, it can be management of uh, a lot of other waste, uh, solid waste, wastewater, storm water, and even hand washing. Uh, but we just have it for feces and urine management. Okay, in uh, rural areas in developing countries, uh, most people are using uh, on-site facilities, if they have any. Uh, it means that we don't use sewers, we don't have uh, pipes with uh, uh, wastewater running. It's far too expensive. Um, in some cultures, uh, you can actually reuse or move the, the feces uh, after it has been uh, stored for a period, being uh, becoming hygienic. But that's only if it's uh, culturally uh, acceptable, and it should also have an advantage uh, for, for the users. If there's no advantage, uh, then the motivation will become uh, low, and then it doesn't function. Uh, wastewater in sewers, uh, forget about it. It's uh, far too expensive. Now, uh, the principles of on-site sensation, we have shit, we have urine. We put it into a receptacle. It can be a hole in the ground or a, a build-up uh, box, depending on what kind of sensation we want to do. Uh, we'll have, uh, apart from the, the shit and urine, we'll have uh, water and uh, some kind of uh, material for wiping. Uh, if it's newspaper, toilet paper, leaves, we don't know. Sometimes they also come a little bit of waste uh, down. Um, then, at some stage, uh, uh, this will transform into a, a mass uh, where the water has uh, disappeared and uh, we have a final uh, deposit. Now, that final deposit could be used moved, uh, used for agriculture. Uh, you can take the urine straight when it's uh, still fresh, uh, not putting it into a pit or receptacle, and also used for agriculture to recycle the nutrition. Uh, you have most nutrition in the urine, that's uh, nitrogen. Uh, 
the composted uh, feces is more like a soil conditioner. It doesn't have a high nutritional value.